What's up, guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of the Fit Women's Weekly Podcast. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome to the show. I hope that you enjoy what you hear and it makes you want to go back and listen to past episodes, which there are now over 550, I believe, and come back, of course, to future episodes. On this podcast, I use my over 16 years of being a personal trainer for women to help spread that knowledge of fitness, nutrition, and of course, to share my own life experiences. This is coffee talk. We share all things fitness. I answer your questions. I talk about news. I talk about things going in my life, like my hormone journey recently, all kinds of fun stuff. So come hang out. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the podcast and leave a leave a review. I do have some pretty exciting news to share with you guys in terms of upcoming things coming up. And then we are going to talk about a couple of different fitness trends that I've seen working their way around the social media world. As far as TikTok and Instagram is concerned, I found an article specifically on one of them called the 321 fitness method. And then I'm also going to share a strength training method that I'm going to be implementing into my personal training and also doing that as a series in Fit Women's Weekly Live come January. And it's going to be a way to build some serious leg strength to challenge our body in a new way. I'm not going to give it away quite yet because first, let's just catch up a little bit. How is December going for you? (laughs) How is it coming with like trying to finish this year off strong, right? It is so easy right now to say life is busy. I'm just going to take a break and I'll get right back into things come January. But we all know that feeling where you take a couple of days off, a couple of days takes, ends up becoming a couple of weeks. And then once you get back into your routine of things, you feel so just blah, right? It's really hard to get back into the routine. So what I want to encourage everyone to do is even if life is crazy busy right now, try to maintain as much of your workout schedule and your routine as possible. Now, I'm not saying if you're used to working out four times a week for 60 minutes at a time that you need to maintain that. What I'm saying is if you're used to working out four times a week, keep that as the main focus. And if that means that your workouts are gonna be 10 minutes long, 20 minutes long, 30 minutes long sometimes instead of that general 60 minutes because of just whatever is going on right now, do that because at least that is helping you maintain that schedule where you have something blocked off on those workout days. And so that once life calms down a little bit and you're able to go back into your quote unquote normal routine, it's going to be easy to do. And if you ever need help with shorter workouts, remember on the Facebook page or not Facebook page. Hello. No, over on YouTube for Fit Women's Weekly. If you just put in Fit Women's Weekly into YouTube, you'll find the channel. If you're not watching this on the YouTube channel already, every week I put out a five minute fit finisher workout and it's a great workout for being short on time to end a workout, to give you that little bit of a oomph, right? To end the workout out strong. Or you can do that five minute workout, take a two minute rest, repeat it for two to three times to do what's called workout stacking, where you turn a five minute workout into a 15 minute workout. And then of course you guys know every day at Fit Women's Weekly Live, which is my online strength training studio, I go live with a 30 minute workout and a 60 minute workout every single day. I push myself, I push you to make sure that you get the most out of that time to squeeze that strength out, to get some endurance in that 30 minutes. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can go to fitwomensweekly.com. I'll make sure to put the link down in the show notes and you can try Fit Women's Weekly Live out for free. If you can't make it live, it's okay. The workouts stay up. Now, that's the next thing that I wanna talk about really, really fast. It's kind of that great transition is Fit Women's Weekly Live and what we have coming up in January. Now, I know some of you guys are like, you talk so much about your business here. Yes, I do, because this is my business and I don't have sponsors for the podcast so that my sponsor is me. It is my brand, it is my company. So I get really excited to share events with you guys or upcoming opportunities and I don't want you to miss out on and you guys are my community. You are the ones that I love to see join me in Fit Women's Weekly Live and we already share a like-minded approach to things, right? Or you wouldn't hang out with me on a weekly basis. Hopefully you're hanging out with me on a weekly basis. So it just makes sense that I want to make sure you know about these things so that we can hang out even more often. So that being said, January 8th is gonna be kicking off my annual Strong Start eight week 
challenge. I have been doing this since I opened up my fitness studio, which has now been, gosh, 15 years, something like that, a very, very long time. And every January, I hold an eight week strength, fitness, and nutrition challenge to help you start the year off strong, to give you accountability, to push you outside of your comfort zone a little bit. So even if you've been working out consistently, we still wanna take it up just a notch so that you push your body in order to gain results, right? Whether that is to burn body fat, to increase your strength, to help endurance, just to give yourself something new, something exciting to look forward to when it comes to your fitness. We all like to be challenged, right? That's why we sign up for something like races or special events, because when we have something in the calendar, it just encourages us to really go for it and inspires us to push ourselves. So the eight week challenge does just that. With the eight week challenge, you get unlimited membership to Fit Women's Weekly Live, my online strength training studio. You're gonna get a day-by-day -day tracking calendar so you know what to do that day. It is gonna be um, filled with short, mini little fitness challenges that don't take a lot of time that helps keep your mind focused on doing those little things that add up. It's gonna be filled with little nutrition challenges. Again, those little habits that make a really big impact and also just to helps you focus on what's really important with your nutrition. What's the BS, what are the trends, and what actually helps you to create a healthy lifestyle going into the new year. One thing that I'm doing different with my fit challenges this time around though, is that in the past, each week has a, a completely different challenge. One week we might focus on push-ups. one week we might focus on squats, and that's great, right? It keeps some variety going on, but I wanted to do something this time around, and it's taken me 15 years to come up with this idea <laughs> this time around where at the end of it, you are going to have gains, not just from the workouts themselves, but from those fit challenges. And what I mean is instead of focusing on something completely different each week, we're going to choose two things to focus on for the first four weeks and then two different things to focus on for the next four weeks. And with that, each week is going to add a little bit of volume. So for example, this is not what we're doing. This is just an example. I don't want to reveal exactly what it is, but for the first four weeks, we might start with um, 30 sit-ups for week one, where every day it's your goal to get 30 sit-ups. And then maybe the next week, it is your goal to get 40 sit-ups each day for that week, and then 50 sit-ups and 60 sit-ups. And when you add that together, you're going to end up getting like, I don't know, 600 sit-ups. That is not the number. Again, just making this up to show an example. But that way you're creating that volume in that daily habit where you're actually going to be getting results from that. Whereas if I just said, we're gonna do 50 sit-ups every day for one week, but then the following week we do 50 squats every day, that's fun, but you're not gonna get the full results of that particular exercise that week, right? Especially if we just jump from one thing to the next. So I will say that over the challenge, you are gonna end up doing over a thousand push-ups in a week. You're gonna end up doing, um, I think over, 1500 squats in a month. And so, yeah, we're gonna focus on things that when you are done with it, you go, holy crap, I never thought that I would do that. Broke it up in a way that is doable and you're gonna get stronger at those skills. So there you go. You're also gonna get recipes. We're gonna have weekly coaching where I do these kind of chit chats, answering your questions, giving you the motivational talks, breaking through the BS of training to help figure out what works, what doesn't, for you. You're going to get macro coaching and you're going to have access to an incredible group of women, not just me as your personal trainer. I'm also going to be your workout partner, but you also get workout partners from women that are going through the program with you, women from all over the place coming together to support you and cheer you on. This is a community and it's a small community so that you're not just a screen name. I get to know you, the women get to know you, you get to know one another. It's fun, it's a sisterhood of fitness. So if that's something that you're interested in, it is an application process because I want to make sure that people that start it are actually serious about working all the way through the eight weeks and you're not gonna give up after just two weeks. Now I know that you guys listening to this podcast are not like that and that when you sign up for something, you're gonna follow through. But I am gonna go ahead and link down in the show notes because y'all are the first ones to hear about this, the direct link to the short application process where then I will personally email you after you fill it out to kind of answer your questions and make sure that the program is for you. As far as the price for the entire eight weeks of all of that stuff, it's only $247 and registration is going to close before the program actually starts. So don't put this off, go ahead and hold your spot 
And as a thank you and a holiday bonus, when you sign up for the summer, or for the summer shred, for the Strong Start Challenge, you're gonna go ahead and get access to Fit Women's Weekly Live starting the day that you actually complete your registration versus just when the challenge starts. I know a lot of programs you sign up, if the challenge is supposed to start January 8th, that is when your membership will start. But no, you're gonna get all that free time from your sign up date until the 8th so that you can get started, you can kinda get the flow of how the workouts are, you and I can chit chat a little bit more, you can get to know some of the women and be at ease so that once the 8th of January does come around, you're ready to hit the ground rock and rolling. What do you say? All right, go get the application information. And of course, if you have questions, email me, but that application also has a spot for any questions or hesitations and we can chit chat about it together. All right, you guys, let's talk about three, two, one fitness. Have you heard about this? Because honestly, I had not until I started maybe a week ago seeing some things pop up on my feed and then Dan sent me an article saying, hey, I think this would be kind of something interesting for you to talk about. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right, I saw this. So what to know about the three, two, one workout method from TikTok? Um, I'm not gonna read the whole article, I am just gonna kind of break down some of the basic stuff from it and then I'll share with you guys, is this a good way of working out that maybe you should try, maybe it's not. The first thing though, before I start into it, when I say, is this something for you, sh you should try? There's not a lot in this world where I would say you should not try this. I think that everything, ha if this sounds exciting to you, give it a go. It might work perfect, right? Somebody else might give it a go and go, nope, this isn't for me, but you tried it. Nothing is going to happen so quickly that it is going to be detrimental to your fitness or your health, right? If you start feeling a certain way about something, you could always stop. That's why if you wanna try some kind of nutrition program, try it out. If after a week it's not working for you, hey, you gave it a shot, right? But I feel like people are so afraid to try things with their bodies out of like, what if this doesn't work? Okay, well, what if it doesn't work? Then you're able to go right back to what you were doing before, or you can find something else. A lot of times when you try something completely different and outside of the box, you're going to get results at least at the short term because it's something new for your body where it's like, whoa, I'm not used to this, let me react. And that reaction gives you some sort of result in one way or another. Is it going to give you long-term results something that you can keep on going for a long period of time. That I don't know, but again, your body doesn't change so drastically from one day to the next that you can't just say, nope, it's not working for me, or yes, it is. So something I always want to continue to like say when it comes to things, I am not one of those trainers that say, that's stupid, don't do it. It might be stupid for me, but it might work perfect for you. All right, so with that being said, what is the three, two, one method? It is a simple formula of organizing your week of workouts. The method prescribes doing three strength workouts, two Pilates workouts, and one cardio or conditioning workout per, per week. Um, so what I like about this is that it does help you to kind of figure out, okay, I have seven days in a week. What am I supposed to do? From every side, I'm being told I need to do strength training, I need to do stretching, I need to do cardiovascular exercise. So how am I supposed to fit that all in where that takes the puzzle piece out of it and says, do three strength training workouts per week, do two Pilates workouts, and do one cardio. But there are a couple of things that I am not crazy about this. Now, again, for some people, this might work. However, for most women, that is then six days of exercise, right? And six days, especially if you are somebody who has a hard time being consistent with their workout routine, setting yourself up to try to work out for six days is setting yourself up for failure, right? It's too much too soon and you might be like, yes, I'm gonna follow this method. And then after the first crazy week you go, oh, I wasn't able to do it, this doesn't work for me. So I would like to see something more of like a three, one, one method uh, perhaps, if that's so needed. So you're doing three strength workouts, one cardio and one stretch, or from the get go doing two, car or two strength workouts and two cardio workouts. And then I'm actually gonna cover here in just a second what I think that the strength work or the stretching workout should be versus having an entirely different day for it. So that's my first hesitation. My other hesitation about this three, two, one method that apparently is like blowing up is that I don't appreciate the fact that it is putting a Pilates or like lower intense yoga program ahead of cardiovascular exercise. 
So it has you doing three strength workouts, two Pilates workouts, and one cardio workout. However, I, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of hybrid training, doing cardio workouts and strength training workouts for a balanced training program. And I really don't prioritize one over the other because I personally think, and the research shows, that your heart is a muscle and deserves to be worked just as hard as your legs and your chest and your shoulders, right? And not to mention, I don't fault like, you know, sometimes the government puts out things and you go, uh, whatever, that's for whoever wants to listen, but they do put out some solid information sometimes based on research. And the CDC agrees with me saying that adults need 150 minutes of moderate to intense physical activity um, with including cardiovascular exercise. So I don't think that one session of 30 minute cardio is enough for somebody who is primed to exercise. And I say primed to exercise, simply meaning like you've been exercising for a while. If you're brand new, then yeah, two to three strength workouts and one cardio might be great. I would like to see this three, two, one changed around a little bit so that it's three strength workouts, two cardio workouts, and then a Pilates slash stretch workout. But if getting in six workouts per week is a little bit too intense, here is my recommendation for this. So I have like, again, just to put it out there, I do love the fact that it helps people figure out what they're supposed to do, right? Put into numbers, how many workouts of X, Y, and Z am I supposed to do? But six can be a lot. So what I would recommend instead is doing three strength workouts and two cardio workouts, which is then five days, which is then has two rest days, which is perfect. If that's too much, focus on two strengths and two cardio days. So then you're getting three rest days per week. And then instead of thinking that you need a 30 to 60 minute Pilates session, add in five to 10 minutes of stretch every single day. At the end of your workouts, take some time to foam roll, to stretch your body out with some static stretching. I've done several podcasts already on the uh, here about foam rolling and uh, myofascial release that can help with that. But just adding in that five to 10 minutes a little bit each day will then add up to that time where you're doing two 30 minute sessions, right? And that's all that you really need to do. So that simplifies it a little bit. But I do, like I said, appreciate the overall method of saying like, let's prioritize all of the stuff. Whereas a lot of programs out there say, this is going to be a six week strength program and you should only do strength during this time. Or this is a 12 week running program where you're only gonna be doing running uh, this time. And I feel like most trainers have gotten away from doing this like all mentality onto one thing, but they definitely still exist. And so I appreciate this for bringing the awareness. At Film is Weekly Live, I make sure to always, first off, we have a stretch class every single Saturday and we end each workout with stretch. Um, but I also make sure to prioritize that, or stress, I shouldn't say prioritize, but stress that strength training is just as important as your cardiovascular fitness. And that doesn't mean that you have to go outside and run or bike or cycle or whatever it is. There's different ways to do that, but you do need to make sure that you're getting both in there for not only like your fitness goals, whether you're trying to burn body fat, but just to be the healthiest human being that you can be. So for that, I am really appreciative of that three, two, one method. So if you've never heard of it, maybe that's something that you want to give a go and just, I'm sure go into Google, type in three, two, one workout program, and you can find some different ways to kind of navigate that. Um, and then that kind of got me thinking into my own programming going into next year. And so one thing that you guys may not realize is that when I'm doing my workouts, I follow a structure where Mondays are interval Mondays, they're body weight, they're cardiovascular based, total body workouts. Tuesday are total body strength where I'm using dumbbells or barbells, but you only need dumbbells to participate and that's total body. Wednesday is upper body, Thursday is leg day, and then Friday is kettlebells, or you can use dumbbells if you wanna do that, and that again is total body. So those are the main workout programs that I put together for Fit Women's Weekly Live. That's my balance training session. But as a bonus, I also do six to eight week progression strength-based programs based on a particular skill. So with the strong start, and in the past challenges, I've done like an eight week uh, deadlift program, I've done an eight week bench press program, I've done an eight week overhead press program, 
and we'll choose two different skills or strengths strength-based exercises like that big compound movements to focus on. And so I was starting to think of like, okay, what do I wanna do for this challenge that's a little bit different? And what I'm gonna do is take my own advice of getting outside of the box a little bit. I want this training session to be mostly like a hypertrophy slash strength-based uh, focus. And so what I'm gonna be leading through is a six weeks, 20 rep squat program. And I think I'm also gonna incorporate that into a bench press. And I think that it's easy to do because not everybody has access to the same amount of weights. So 20 reps is a really great way to challenge your body and we can all choose weights that are appropriate for us, right? So what is the 20 rep squat set program? And have you guys ever heard of it? I've started it, but I've never actually completed it. So I'm actually really excited to do this. And if this is something that you want to go through with me, this is something I'm gonna be programming out. It's gonna be part of Philman's Weekly Live. So make sure to jump into the challenge so that we can do it. But basically what it is, is you choose a weight generally that you can use for eight to 12 reps for a squat. And then you knock out 20 reps. If you have to stop at the top, then you have to stop at the top to knock it out, but you're trying not to put the weight down and you're trying not to actually break the set up by putting your weight down and taking like a real long break. Does that make sense? So each week for six weeks, you try to go up five to 10 pounds and you're still knocking out a set of 20 reps. It is high volume, it is high intensity, it has been proven by, this is a bodybuilding technique, it's been proven to increase your muscles, your muscle size. I've been working on trying to get these quads better, so I think it'll be a good challenge. Ooh, this light's starting to come right onto me. Um, it's also great for building muscular endurance, which is also a benefit. If you are somebody who, when you go to squat or you go to deadlift and doing a set of eight, makes your heart rate jump sky high and you're like, oh my God, I feel like I just ran a mile, then maybe getting outside of that comfort zone of that eight to 12 rep range, which is what a lot of us stay in, will help you build that muscular endurance so that that's not always the issue. <laughs> it's also gonna help with building higher testosterone, um, for it helps to build your, uh, increases your anabolic, blah, 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 your anabolic hormones, which will obviously help to build some muscle and if you're like me, as we get older, a lot of us tend to start to decrease our testosterone. Yes, women need testosterone too. So strength training will help it and doing this kind of intensity at this kind of rep count will help boost that up a little bit. And it helps to build mental toughness because y'all, you ever done heavy sets of 20 reps before? It is hard, not only physically, but mentally. You're just kind of going like, I can do this, I can do this. Me personally, I will count to 10, and then I will count to 10 again, because in my head, doing two sets of 10 is a lot easier than doing one set of 20. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the plan that I'm gonna be doing. Because that is such a high intensity way of training, it's not recommended to go more than six weeks of this. I'm gonna start this out on January 8th, and we'll go for the six weeks. We're gonna find our weight, which, um, depending on where you are with your fitness will determine on how to start it. So I will break it down a little bit. And I'm sharing this because going from that three, two, one method of like, just try something new. I'm, this is my something new that I'm gonna be sharing and I would love for you guys to join me. So if you're a beginner, I would recommend just doing this 20 rep squat program one time a week. And you're gonna try to figure out about what your one rep max is. And you're gonna go for about 40% of that to start for your first week. And then each week you're gonna to try to add on a little bit more from that starting weight. If you are more of an intermediate, you can do that squat program two times per week. So you're gonna knock out 20 sets two times per week. And you're gonna start off with about 55% of your one rep max. So if your one rep max is 100 pounds, you would try to do all 20 reps for 55 pounds. And then the second week you would go up to 60 or 65 pounds and try to go up every single week for the six weeks. And then if you are more advanced, you can try to go for three times per week. Whew, that's gonna be a super big challenge. Um, so you're, and you would be starting at around 60% of your one rep max for that. Um, if you guys are interested in learning more about this, let me know. There's a lot of information on this. This is something, like I said, I've been playing around with the 20 rep max for probably three years now, but I've never actually stuck to a program. So I'm excited. If you want to find out more information or you want to join me, then you know what to do. Head over to the link 
fill out the application for the strong start and we can decide if that's something for you. You don't have to do the strong start. You can just join Fit Women's Weekly Live and I will still be, this will still be in that group. But the actual program written out will be part of the strong start challenge plan. That makes sense. So yeah, there you go. All right, you guys, that's what we got going on today. It has been a week already. Hopefully you guys have a great week ahead of you, a great weekend planned. Let me know if you have any questions about any of this. And if you've ever tried any of these programming um, philosophies or ideas like the 321 workout plan or the 20 rep strength program, I would love to hear how did it go? What kind of side, side effects did you get? What kind of benefits? What worked? What didn't work? Give me the tea. All right, guys, make sure that you go check out all the details about the Strong Start Challenge. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast. If you are watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. I put multiple workouts or multiple workouts and multiple videos out every single week. In fact, I'm getting ready to release a uh, review on some new leggings that I just tried from Bombshell. Some mixed reviews. One pair loved, one pair eh, semi, semi loved, didn't hate didn't fall in love with. So that's going to be out on that video. All right, you guys go have yourself a great day. Mwah. Bye.